It's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video for you guys. And as I was preparing for this video, as I was getting ready to brainstorm what I would be putting out this week, I went into my notes and I started to look at, hey, what was the last video that I had prepared? Was it one that I made already or was it one that I didn't? And it ended up being one that I had started to plan that I never recorded. And as I was going through the notes for this video, I realized something that got me upset because as soon as I opened the notes, I saw a line at the beginning that said, I've reached the point in my life where I can no longer do with my body as I please. And what I mean by that is this, that my body, the way I move, the way that I interact with the world in my body was different because I was experiencing pain. My knee was messed up, I had tendonitis, and, and, and my knee was flaring up, which would shoot up into my back. By the end of the day, my back was hurting, my knees were hurting, and all of these things were occurring in my body. And at the end of the day, when my daughter was running to me to play with me, I felt like I couldn't get up from the sofa sometimes, and I was frustrated. And thinking about that sparked a thought inside of me of realizing that as I was experiencing this pain, it was frustrating because I was unable to do the things that I both wanted to do and was able to do in the past. It was frustrating to think of being able to do something so simple and realizing that I can no longer do it anymore and thinking about what endurance, which is what the video was going to be about, truly means. The endurance means being able to go through physical difficulty and still moving anyway. The endurance is being able to realize that, yeah, I can't take the steps that I used to take. I can't move as quickly as I used to move. I can't contort and move my body in the ways that I used to be able to in the past. I can't go as high as I used to or go as low as I used to. And there's not so many ways that I can't move like I used to, but I'm going to move anyway. Even as I speak about it right now, it sounds like an amazing concept. It sounds like being able to understand that endurance does not mean always having the same amount of strength. What endurance truly means is continuing to move. And yet it upsets me. It upsets me because that mindset was one where I accepted a condition if you even want to call it that, where I accepted a mindset, I accepted a thought into my life that told me I cannot do this anymore, that accepted the thought that it was okay to sit on the sofa at the end of the day because I got pain in my back and be okay with that day after day after day and not do anything about it. No, that is a thought that I no longer accept anymore. And I'll tell you why. Recently, I started a challenge called 75 Hard, which is a mental toughness challenge. There are five simple rules within this challenge that if at first glance, you might think, wow, this is really simple, it's probably easy. But following through with them without compromise at any point or failure for 75 days is what makes it difficult, is what's going to challenge you mentally. The rules are simple. Rule number one, you have to work out twice a day. One of those workouts has to be outside no matter the weather. Rule number two, you have to follow a diet. The diet can be of your choosing, but you have to follow that diet precisely without deviation. Rule number three, you have to drink a gallon of water every single day. Rule number four, you have to take a progress picture every single 
day. Rule number five, you have to read 10 pages of an entrepreneurial type self-help book every single day. And rule number six, no cheat meals, no alcohol. And the craziest part about this challenge is the fact that there's no deviation. And some people think that this challenge is simply one that helps you to lose weight. But what it really is, what it will really test inside of you is where you are mentally. I'm only 13 days in and I've lost about 10 to 12 pounds already. And all of that weight, even though it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, has taken off weight from my knees and already paid off dividends in regards to how I move. So I ask myself right now, and as I prepared this video, I ask myself, why? Why did I not challenge them? Why did I not push myself to step beyond what my reality was and create a new reality? Why did I choose to accept what was going on in that moment, what my mind taught me, what my mind told me was going to be my reality for the rest of my days. My mind thought that it was only going to get worse from here, so I needed to accept this. My mind thought that I needed to learn how to have endurance and to carry the weight on my back faithfully, even if I can't move anymore. The reality is, is that we need to learn how to challenge the negative mindsets that we have. We need to learn how to take thoughts that we have and to challenge them. Maybe you need to go beyond challenging them. Maybe there are thoughts in your mind that you need to break. And I'm wondering if you're ready for that. I'm wondering if you're ready to step into a life that goes beyond accepting negative thoughts, accepting negative consequences as your own, accepting the status quo, accepting what you have before you when God wants to give you more, when God wants to be in your life in such a way that he moves through you and creates change in your life, in your family's life, in your society and community, in this world. I wonder if you can challenge yourself in such a way to realize that God can do great and mighty works inside of you. That God can move in a way that you would never even be able to comprehend. That if you could think and realize just how much God could do in your life, you would never accept a negative thought again. Your youth will make you feel indestructible, but it is not the end of your prime. When you're a young person, I remember myself, I used to go with my boys, we would play eight hours of basketball, go eat two boxes of pizza each from Domino's 555 deal, wow, that's a throwback, and then go out and play basketball again. We were indestructible, there was nothing that phased us, and your youth will make you feel that way. But who said that that was the end of your prime? Who said that that was the end of you being able to do things in this life that were great? Who said that that was the end of you being able to achieve great things with your body and with your mind? Who said that that was the end of you being able to make moves? Who told you to accept that? You have to be able to reframe negativity and negative self-talk. You have to be able to take a negative situation and say, you know what, I could turn this around. I used to lead a youth program before I started doing this. And I remember we used to play basketball with the kids and these high school kids, a lot of them were really good at basketball. But me and my staff, we used to do staff versus students, but we were pretty good. And at one point we had an undefeated record and there was one day that it came into question. Game point was 12, meaning that you had to make 12 points to be able to win. The students were up 11-0 on us. And I remember, looking at my boy, my boy Jawanza. I remember looking at him and telling him, are you ready? And he nodded to me. After that point, it was over. We scored 12 points and won the game 12-11. Now you might be thinking, yo, this is YMCA basketball. It's not that serious. When faced with something that truly doesn't mean nothing, if we would have lost that game, it wouldn't have broken my life. But when faced in that moment with the possibility of losing an undefeated record against our students, we turned it up. This is how we did it. We approached each point one by one by one. Made one point, all right, let's make another one. Made another point, all right, let's make another one. If we lost the ball, okay, let's get a stop defensively. And you need to be able to approach your life in the same way. How do you reframe negativity? You take one step towards the positive side of that negative talk in your mind. 
If your mind is telling you that you can't lose weight, the next day you say, I'm gonna take a walk. If your mind is telling you that you can't be successful as an entrepreneur, just focus on getting one sale. If your mind is telling you that you will never amount to nothing, you start to tell yourself affirmations in the morning that say that you are going to amount to something. One step. And what you will realize is that as you take one step after the other step, after the other step, after the other step, every day you will get closer and closer to the opposite of that negativity. I want to caution you from something that many people do. And, it's and, and I call it exaggerating the climb. Many times when we have something before us that we have to accomplish, we exaggerate just how hard it will be to get there. We think that the climb is just far too big. There is far too much in front of me for me to be able to achieve this. But do not exaggerate the climb of changing your life. When we focus so hard on how hard things are or how hard they will be for us to accomplish, we make it impossible for us to even take one step towards that. When all we think about is the negativity, we create the negativity and its continuance in our life by our own thoughts. Instead, choose to refrain it. Choose to change your life for God's glory. Valley of the Heroic Family, thank you for being here for another week. I'm sorry for taking such a long hiatus. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope that this is a video that really, really, really affected you in a positive way. What I want you guys to do is comment, like, share, subscribe, hit all the bu buttons as my wife says, press all the buttons, do, 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 do. I hope that you can continue joining me as we grow on this journey together. If you're wondering about something that you can do to get closer towards changing the negativity in your life, it will help for you to understand how dependable God is in your life. So check out this video below that talks about dependable God. It's a Bible study that I did live a couple of weeks ago that I think will bless you and help you on this journey. God bless you guys. Take it easy. All right, we're done.